All right, so this is gonna be a quick video. This is a 06 Subaru Tribeca. Um, I'm gonna address a couple things, stereo things, which kind of work for every vehicle. But, so to take, the Tribeca's are unique because you can't just replace the stereo um, unless you refab the whole huge plate here. But <clears throat> the issues that this one was having um, was the speakers on the left-hand side, both speakers front and back were really soft, but the right-hand side were really loud, but you could still hear them through the left-hand side. So this is kind of a generic thing for all vehicles. What that actually was, was the unit itself. So the unit itself that's in there looks like this. That's the back of it. And it's got four plugs plus that uh, ground wire there either ground or antenna I can't remember but I got a used one off of eBay uh, 40 bucks looks like that it sits in there so you can see the four here's one by my pointer finger the four holes that's where the four screws go in they're just Phillips head it's real easy and then you just slide it out and you unplug all these that wire has a plug kind of lower down in there that you can unplug which is great when I got this one or this is the old one because I already replaced it but when I got the replacement one, that wire was cut, so I just had to cut the plug off of this one and uh, just, you know, connect it to the old one. But that's just the four bolts that slides out. And that's after you take this faceplate out, which this is the old one. Uh, so the faceplate was taken out <clears throat> because these gauges down here weren't working. Um, and I'm not good at soldering or getting in there and, and figuring all that out. So just 75 bucks from a junkyard, got the new faceplate on there. So we put that back on. And that one, as you can see right here, is just four bolts as well, one in each corner. And this just pops out. This ring pops off and this pops out. I'm not gonna actually do any work, but I'm just trying to explain to you because it's already done. This pops out. Uh, you can just use like a pocket knife or whatever you have. And then this pops out and these all just snap. Nothing, none of these things are screwed in. Four screws, one's up here, one's over there, one down here and down here. Faceplate comes off. Back of the faceplate has two plugs, which one's right here. And then this plug that comes from the faceplate, which connects into the front of the stereo right there. <clears throat> so, I think that kind of covers everything, but it was, so the faceplate fixed the issue with the temperature gauges. The head unit fixed the issue with the speakers. So if you're having weird speaker issues and you've actually looked at the speakers, which I did, and the speaker wires and everything seems to be okay, it's gonna be your head unit, especially if it's something wonky, like one side soft, the other side's loud. It's just almost always the head unit. So think of that. And that'll be a lot easier because you can just get like cheap cheap head units in different vehicles as opposed to this one which you have to deal with all of this and you can't just get some random best buy one or whatever so that's that um when i put this one in this wasn't lighting up so the faceplate itself wasn't lighting up the temperature gauges were still good it's just that at nighttime that this part wouldn't and these tribecas they say to look at the backup fuse which is in the fuse box in the front or under the hood rather but there's a little one here so I checked the backup fuse that was fine I was looking around here for accessories and all that stuff uh, trying to figure out which one it was turns out it was a blown fuse you should be able to see this it was that one right there um, ILM because that's illumination which I don't know skimming through quickly I just wasn't paying attention to uh but it was that one so ended up finding it and fixing it replaced the fuse got the lights on don't know why it blew maybe just because when i was pulling it out <clears throat> touched something head unit fixed the speakers faceplate fixed the gauges for climate control so that's pretty much that for all the stereo stuff now because this doesn't have a bluetooth i wanted to uh get a bluetooth unit in here so this is from amazon and this you just plug into your cigarette lighter which this this uh i don't even know if you call them cigarette lighters anymore 
but this one goes there's a couple of them in the in the armrest here so it goes in there and then it just bluetooths and you adjust uh the channel that you want here on fm you just have to find a channel that's a dead channel that's you know static or whatever um if you want to be hacky about it you can pull the antenna uh from the head unit and then you have no radio you just have static all the time the only good reason to do that is because then your bluetooth works if you're traveling state to state or whatever you got going on you don't have to worry about it cutting in and out uh, and the bluetooth just picks up on your phone good sound quality great little thing uh, i'll try to put a link down in the description uh, but you can just find them on amazon uh, and then it's got a couple of chargers you know phone charger ports there uh, a couple different it's got a base button you can answer calls if you're feeling real fancy i don't think the base button I mean, it's all right. It's great. It, it's great for its purpose, and it's cheap, and it can make any car Bluetooth as long as it has a cigarette lighter. So that's it. That's uh, car audio stuff. Um, some specific to the Tribeca, some not. So hopefully this helps some folks out. Uh, have a great day.